what is good Hellraisers the time has come to reminisce on the greatest meta of all times in this game before even the Vanguard integration into the game it was the DMR everybody remembers it I was the only one that actually missed the whole phase because that's when my PlayStation broke down and with PS4 um, yeah it just broke down and uh, by the time I got the game back up and uh, running, it was too late. It was already nerfed, so I missed out on all that. I do mi I missed out a lot on uh, the rebirth at first. Uh, I believe I played like uh, I think two days of rebirth, and then my position broke down, and took a good uh, month, month and a half before I went back to to gaming. So uh, yeah, I did miss out on all that, but I did hear a lot of stories, and I did watch a whole bunch of videos regarding the uh, the DMR. It was just it was brutal man it was uh, it was nonsense like that's it, it broke the game to be honest uh, just uh, everybody had to use it because if you don't use it you're gonna lose that's pretty much as as uh, clear as possible i think since then uh, it, it, it's been a roller coaster with regards to metas i think before the dmr really the metas were really that, that talked about like all the guns were almost equivalent but ever since the uh, dmr came out it just uh, everything went to shit <laughs> pretty much but anyways, as you can see, I only have a level 29. I really rarely use it. Another level of 29, I only got it by um, picking it up as a ground loot. So uh, that tells you a lot. Just let me, yeah, see. I never even opened these. I'm not big on tactical rifles in general, but I know some guys, some of you guys like it. And of course, the only reason why I would uh, start to level it up is to get all the uh, guns to Dark Matter and Cold War. Um, I'm still not at that level, but uh, I'll get to it. Alright, as far as the DMR, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of uh, blueprints that you can buy. Oh, they only managed to do six. Okay, six in that small period. That's not too bad, actually. They have the uh, Contra Active, the Freakish Nature, Cryptic Tablet, Winthrow, Winthrow. Arcade Hobby and Casket Reserve. All right. Anyways, today we're only going to be looking at the ones that you can unlock yourself uh, freely. So you have three. You have the Death Angel, which is a Season Five pre-integration of uh, Vanguard into Warzone Legendary Blueprint. You have the Factory Stainless Season Three Epic uh, Blueprint from before the integration of Vanguard into Warzone, and the Poacher Hunter Season Two pre-integration of uh, Vanguard into Warzone. Uh, now I don't think I've ever seen anybody with the Poacher Hunter. Um, I think it's one of those I usually have, but you don't really use. But in case you grab it and you wonder what the attachments are, you would need the Hangman RF Optic, the Raider Stock Stock, and the SAS Mag Clamp Magazine. Now moving on to the Factory Stainless, this one actually is, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's a very nice uh, aesthetic gun. You have the SWAT 5 Navy Laser Set, which is pretty weird for a tactical rifle, since that's usually for that hip fire accuracy. But again, everything's possible with these builds. You have the Hangman RF Optics, which is, in my opinion, the worst optic you can have. Airborne Elastic Wrap for the rear grip and the Salvo 40 round fast magazine. You do need a lot of rounds for this gun. In general, tactical rifles, they do, uh, even though it's one shot, you do end up running through ammo quite a lot, especially since you miss a lot due to the uh, recoil. Last but not least is the Death Angel. This, I believe, is the best blueprint that you can have on your uh, DMR if you want. You have the SOCOM Eliminator for that horizontal, I mean, for that vertical recoil compensator. You have the 20.8 Task Force Barrel, great for that damage and range. You have the Raider Stock for that mobility. You have the Salvo 40 round fast mag. Uh, of course, you do need, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of uh, magazine, but unfortunately, the magazine here, since it's a large magazine, it does uh, remove all the uh, mobility that you gain with the Raider stock. But again, it's, uh, it's depends depends on how you like to play. You could also go with an old stock, and uh, I mean, an optics too. It really depends on how you're gonna play with. This is how this weapon was built, and it's it's, it's not bad. It performs not bad. Then you have the front grip, which is great for that control and that horizontal recoil stabilization. Um, so yeah. This is pretty much it. Let's, I'll show you guys a 3D HD view of this uh, gun for you guys to enjoy the aesthetics and then we'll talk a bit more about it.
All right. So that is pretty much it for the DMR. If you have any other questions uh, or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. I try to get you guys uh, the best blueprints that you can have. I try to unlock every single one. Um, I only do a video once I unlocked every single blueprint possible for that gun. Uh, so if there's one that is not here and I s missed it, which is possible, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other uh, request videos or whatever it is, again, please let me know. I try to unlock all, not only all the blueprints for the guns, but all the skins for the operators. So in case that's your, uh, that's your thing, check out my channel. All right, take it easy, guys, and catch you guys on the next one. I don't know how I got that, I got this lag, but... Oh baby, that was a nice shot.
Thank <laughs> you.